All right, it's time to do some styling of text. We're going to style the text using the box model. And I think you've all already seen the box model on Khan Academy. But to see it clearly, I'm just going to take a look at this live. Here it is. Um, I'm going to select the H1. So you'll be able to see the box model in action. I'm going to control click or right click and look at the inspector tool. I've moved my inspector down here to the bottom. Um, so as I hover over the H1, you're going to see a blue highlighted area that goes all the way across the page. That's because this is a block level element and a block level element includes in it a hard return or a manual return or a break tag, whichever way you prefer to think about it. I think uh, my generation says manual return and the few years below me says hard return and you guys might just say to yourselves break tag. Anyway, that's the blue area, that's the element. The orange area is the margin and the area inside the blue around the text that isn't text, that's the padding. So I'm going to scroll way down to the bottom of my inspector tool and you can see the box model right here. You can see that the blue area is the element, outside of the blue is the padding, the border is yellow, and the margin is orange. So always scroll down here to remember what the box model looks like. But let's uh, make a few changes and see what happens with this area. The first thing I'm going to do is scroll back up here and make my changes right here in the inspector element. This is a great place to experiment. It will not change your actual code, but it is a great place to experiment to test something and see would this work? Is this what I want to do? So I'm going to click right here before the curly bracket and type margin uh, colon 4em. So now as I hover over the H1, look how huge that margin is. Look at that. The orange area is now four times the size that it was before. Let's play with padding and see what that would do. I'm going to click again right before the curly bracket and type padding semicolon 2m. Let's take a peek at that. So now you can see the type on its full line because it's an H1 element has um, the blue, the padding is green and it is now 2M and the margin is 4. So this is just a way to test things out. I don't think it's what I would want to do but it is a way to test things out. Now what we've looked at is the margin default and the padding default. What if, just what if, you only wanted to pad the top of the margin. So I'm going to go here into the margin tag and retype margin hyphen top. Now let's take a look at it. So I'm hovering over the H1 and now you can see in the orange that it's much larger than it is at the bottom. So now let's go back to the code and do what we think is necessary for the code. So here I am, actually I'll close the inspector. Here I am in Visual Studio Code and I already know what I want to do. You can see nothing that I typed in the inspector stayed. So underneath my font size I'm going to type margin top. Now I could use the EM that I did over in the inspector, but I already know how big my image is. Let's just take a peek. The black comb image, it says right down here, it's 900 by 964. And I already know I want to go down about halfway. So I think I'll use the pixel measurement instead. So I'll type uh, 500px and see what that looks like. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So in the next video, we'll take a look at getting this text more 
where it belongs, right? More inside the area of the image, so it'll look a lot better. Onward. <laughs>